Hi everyone, this is Gunmax here. Today uh, we're going to take a little look at the Mini Stinger MK3 and the thoughts behind that. But now, when I built this bot, I wanted to create something that has a lot of firepower, uh, this is quite fast, and has the ability to uh, escape quickly whenever that is needed. Uh, on the other hand, I did not want to create a glass cannon. I wanted to have something that is a little bit more durable. And this is basically the result. So if we look at it, um, well, it's quite obvious uh, when it comes to guns. What kind of weapons does this one have? It does have two chain shredders, uh, which themselves gives a lot of firepower. In addition to that, it does have a power module inside. You can barely see it, um, but it is there. And um, together with the chain shredders, uh, I would say that it is very rare that I lose a clean one versus one fight with this bot. Now, if you look at it, you can see that it is not very large. Now, that is since obviously the two chain shredders use a lot of CPU, so does the energy module, and there is also a blink module. So with all those four large parts, heavy CPU parts, there is not much CPU left for the rest of the bot. So how should I then create something that is durable? Now what I've done here is that I've created a front part here, which is basically built out of three Triforce layers of armor. So, when it comes to being hit from the front, well, that enemy has quite a lot of job to do to get through these three layers, and most probably they are dead before they reach the third layer. What you can also see here is that I'm using all the five connection points for the shredders, shredders uh, and I'm connecting them using these 3D diagonal rods going three of them straight uh, backwards, upwards and two of them are going diagonally downwards, backwards. And the reason behind that is that you don't want the chain shredders to fall off if someone just shoots here close to where they might think that they are connected. They're connected in here and also down here, which adds on basically the, the armor or the job that the enemy needs to perform in order to, to get through this. As I said, it does have this blink module and the blink module should basically only be used whenever you're in a situation where you've lost both your guns. And that is a part of this escape pod construction. What it also has is that it has seven hoover blades and the modules inside are actually connected directly to each other as well as to some of these uh, hoovers. And that makes it possible actually to, when I'm being shot at a lot, I might end up with only those two modules and some hoover blades. And that is basically all that is left on this bot. Uh, if we try to sum up what is the what are the pros and what are the cons with this bot, I would say that if we start with the pros, I would say that we have four pros. One is quite obvious, it does have a lot of firepower. Uh, second thing is that it is, at least if you look at the size of it, it is quite durable. Third thing is that it is quite fast. It's not the fastest bot since it doesn't have any thrusters, but as long as I'm going in one direction, it is fast. And the fourth thing is the this escape pod construction here using the blink module as a very important part of that. Uh, if we go and look at the cons instead, it has three cons. 
example one is quite obvious as I said before it only has two guns so whenever the guns are lost the only thing you can do with this one is turn around and get out of the fight try to find some place to heal second thing is well, even though it's quite fast, but as I said, it is fast only when I'm going in one direction. Whenever I want to turn, it becomes very slow. A 90 degree turn or a 180 degree turn takes quite a while. Third thing is that it is not very agile. It doesn't climb any steep hills uh, in a good way. So it keeps, it stays quite low. Uh, if I want to go up on a hill, I actually need to use the blink module, but as I said, I really don't want to use that for anything else than escape whenever I need that. Um, I have two... Well, yeah, that was basically it. That was the, the thoughts behind this one and why it is built the way it is. I have two videos out there showing some gameplay with this machine. There's one game which is quite short where I focus on killing enemies uh, and there is also another one a video which is quite long uh, it's seven versus eight win where I took the role as the uh, tower destroyer you might say um, and uh, that was a very good game because it was quite um, it was quite even and I like long even games. So just have a look at them and I hope you liked it and uh, just come back for more. Bye.